It began in the old and golden days of England, in a time when all the hedgerows were green and the roads dusty, where hawthorn and wild roses bloomed, when big-bellied landlords brewed rich October ale at a penny a pint for rakish, high-booted cavaliers with jingling spurs and long rapiers. When squires ate roast beef and belched and damned the Dutch over their claret while their faithful hounds slumbered on the rushes by the hearth. When summers were long and warm and drowsy with honeysuckle and hollyhocks by the cottage walls. And when winter nights were clear and sharp with frost-rimmed moon shining on the silent snow. And Claude Duval and swift Nick Neverson lurked in the bosky thickets, teeth gleaming beneath their masks as they heard the rumble of coaches bearing paunchy, well-lined nabobs and bright-eyed ladies with powdered hair who would gladly tread a measure by the wayside with the gallant Toby Man, and bestow a kiss to save the husband's guineas. An England where good King Charles lounged amiably on his throne and scandalised Mr Pepys, or was it Mr Evelyn? by climbing walls to ogle Pretty Nell, where gallants roistered and diced away their father's fortunes, where beaming yokels and spotless smocks made hay in the sunshine and ate bread and cheese and quaff foaming tankards fit to do J.K. Chesterton's heart good.